Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be testing out the new makeup brand at Target called Profusion. A lot of you guys requested that I make this video and that I test out this brand and everything is so ridiculously affordable so I decided to go ahead pick up a few things here and there and give the brand a try. So if you've been seeing that brand at Target and you're kind of wondering how it performs I've got some swatches and some demos for you in this video. And one other thing I wanted to mention is a lot of you guys were saying you did want to see vlogs when I asked you about it in my chatty get ready with me so I decided to make one and it's my cruise vlog I don't know what I'm doing it's definitely a work in progress but I made a second channel called Taylor Margaret Vlogs. It's my name and my middle name, Vlogs. Just because there were some of you that weren't interested in vlogs, there were several of you that were interested. So as many of you guys suggested, I put it on a second channel. So if you're interested, you can go subscribe to that channel. I'll link it down below. If you're not interested, then you won't be seeing it here on this channel. And we'll keep it professional and just about makeup on this channel. But if you are interested in viewing the vlog, my husband is in it. Again, it's a work in progress, but I will link that channel first thing in the description box down below. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get right into testing Profusion. Okay, so excuse how casual I am. I'm just in a casual mood. I just have a sweatshirt on because it is so cold outside. It's like 35 degrees this morning and I just couldn't put on like some cute outfit. I just needed to be warm and cozy. I have a blanket on too. So if you wanna join me, just pause this video and go put on your comfy clothes and your sweatshirt. Get under a cozy blanket with some tea and Let's just test out some new makeup. So I didn't buy everything from this brand because you guys know I buy all of these products that I test myself and I saw that they launched a bunch of kind of repeat products. So there were a bunch of eyeshadow palettes, contour palettes, highlight palettes. So I just wanted to get like a sampling of their products and if they're good, maybe I'll go back and get more or if you guys are interested in learning more about the brand. But for now, I just kind of want to dip my toe in the water, see if this brand is even something that we should be excited about at Target. So the first product I want to try out looks really promising in the packaging. This is the Profusion Highlight and Contour Palette. So it's got six colors in here and I found it really interesting that there's five highlighting shades and one contour shade. So they call it the Contour and Highlight Palette but it's really like the highlight palette with one contour shade. So I'm gonna go straight in with the contour color on my e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. It's a nice small brush to kind of get up underneath the cheekbones. And so far all I have on is my number seven Stay Perfect foundation, my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer, and this Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder, and then my brows are done. So I'm just going to lightly dip this in the pan. There's really hardly any fallout. And just apply right up underneath my cheekbone. It's not overly pigmented, but that's kind of nice for a contour color. Like, you don't want to be creating stripes on your face. You want to be creating a subtle shadow and when it's this soft in terms of pigmentation you can really build it up to be as natural or as intense as you want but it's definitely on the low end in terms of pigmentation but I feel like that did a really nice job of just sculpting everything you can see this side versus this side it's just a little bit more defined I'm gonna do the same thing over here so now I'm gonna go in with one of these highlighters and I think I'm gonna mix these two shades. These are right up my alley. They're called Devoted and Impulse. Highlights definitely have a bit more fallout than the bronzer did. I'm just gonna dust this on top of my cheekbone. Definitely pigmented, but there is 100% glitter in here. It definitely looks like it's on the chunkier side in terms of highlighters but it's very pigmented. I mean, it's doing the job. I'm sure you guys can see, but you can clearly see where I have highlighter on. There's pretty noticeable flecks of glitter. It's not just that overall wet look. I'm using one of the Wet n Wild brushes from their holiday collection to apply it. Definitely a very pretty color, super pigmented, but like I said, on the glittery side. All right, next we've got this beautiful blush palette. So I'm gonna take another Wet n Wild brush. I've been loving this brush for blush. And I'm gonna mix these two kind of in the same area as the two highlighters are mixed. They're called Alive and Playful. And they're just a really nice neutral blush color so that we can do whatever we want on the eyes. The blushes are definitely more pigmented than 
the contour color. So definitely be careful and use a light hand with these because you could go overboard really fast with a blush this pigmented. All right, that is the blush applied. We are moving right along here and that's probably because I'm trying to get to the thing I'm most excited about and it is the Perfusion Naturals palette. Now this is a massive, massive eyeshadow palette. They had natural and then they had another one. I think it was called Sultry and it had a lot of jewel tone colors in it but as a lot of you guys know, e.l.f. recently launched another Mad For Matte palette all jewel toned. So I decided to go with this one since I already ordered a jewel toned eyeshadow palette. This is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely giving me Anastasia Beverly Hills vibes. The shape of the pans, the gold writing, even the color selection reminds me a lot of that brand. And it also comes with a brush. It's a dual sided brush. One side is fluffy and the other side is like a flat packing brush. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit and I'm just going to use the brush that it came with with this shade called Silky, which is just kind of a neutral bone colored eyeshadow. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. A Little bit of fallout, nothing major. Can't say a whole lot about pigmentation yet because this shadow is pretty much the same color as my lid. Right next on my Wet n Wild blending brush, I'm gonna take the shade right here called Outgoing and blend that through my crease. This shade has a ton of fallout. I don't know if you guys can see it kind of going up in the air, but Definitely want to tap off the excess with this shade. I'm going to take this through the crease and I'm also going to put it all over the lid. It's going on nicely. It's actually going on the eye a lot more beautiful than I thought it was going to. All right, next on one of my BH Cosmetics brushes, I'm going to take the color Zing, which is this color right here, and put that in my crease. Fallout is not as bad on this one, but it's still... It's still there. I focus this more on this side, this outer corner. This color is beautiful and super pigmented. And I feel like I try hard to incorporate a lot of different looks and I don't do a whole lot of warm eyeshadow looks because I know there's a ton of those on YouTube, but I mean, with this type of a palette, you kind of have to. Right now I'm gonna take this Packer brush that is on the other side of the brush that it came with and take this shade right here called Excited. Again, lots of fallout. I'm just gonna pack this on. All right, not impressed with that with a brush. I'm gonna try using it with my finger, see if we get better color payoff that way. Okay, definitely apply these with your finger. It's 10 times better. If this was an Anastasia eyeshadow palette, I would be mad if I had to apply these with my finger. I'd want to be able to apply them however I want if I spent that kind of money. But considering this is beyond affordable and you get so many colors, I am not mad about applying with my fingers to get this kind of pigment out of the eyeshadow. All right, now I'm gonna take the matte black, which is the shade Nightlife, right here on the end and just apply that to my outer corners. It's a lot more pigmented than I thought, so I have more than I want on my eye, but we'll blend it. To blend it, I'm gonna take that first Wet n Wild brush that has a little bit of the original transition color on it. I do feel like as I'm trying to blend this black eyeshadow, I'm blending away a little bit of the shimmer, but that's pretty normal. All right, now I'm gonna take a tiny bit of concealer, just using my Catrice Liquid Camouflage again, and go ahead and clean up these edges a little bit. I'm just gonna throw on some liner and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just applied some liner and mascara. I used my Essence I Love Crazy Extreme Volume, or I Love Extreme Crazy Volume, and my Maybelline Gigi Hadid Eyeliner. This is one of the only things from the collection that I really liked along with the lipsticks. Now I'm gonna take this shade right here called Amore and put that on my lower lash line. Actually, first, I'm gonna use my Essence Gel waterproof liner and line my lower lash line and I'm gonna smoke that out with the Amore shade and I'm using another wet and wild brush and now on this elf small angled brush I'm gonna take a little bit of that matte black again called nightlife and just put that on my outer corner to meet up with the small wing we've got going on all right now I'm gonna add a touch of the same mascara on my lower lash line this is a really difficult lower lash line mascara because it's such a huge wand. Okay, now onto the last product I picked up. This is the Mixed Metals Lips. So this is supposed to be long lasting matte lip cream and then there's a metal lip cream. So it says there are three steps. There's nice directions here on the back. So step one, outline the lips using the pencil. 
Easy enough. Step number two, apply a thin layer of the matte lip cream starting at the center of the lips and spreading outward. Number three, allow the lips to dry and intensify into an opaque finish and then apply the metal matte lip cream as a top coat. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this Nude Intrigue Matte Lip Liner. Ooh, it's retractable and this looks like a really nice color. This is super pointed but I feel like once that point dulls down, it's gonna be a really thick lip liner. All right, now on to the matte nude color. I'm gonna apply a thin layer of this. It's got a pretty long wand. It reminds me of the NYX wands from their lip lingerie line. Okay, so super thin coat applied and I'm gonna give it a minute to dry. All right, it feels and it looks dry now, so I'm gonna go in with the top coat which is this color, Nude Metal. And I only applied a small amount. I have to say, I thought this was gonna be a lot louder than it actually is. So it's definitely more of a wearable metallic. I feel like it's still kind of highlighting my lines in my lips. I don't know how I feel about metallic liquid lipsticks, just generally speaking, but I'm probably a little bit more biased towards that this time of year when everything is feeling a little bit drier. So just kind of going once back through everything, I wanna let you know kind of what I think now that everything's settled in and it's all applied. First starting with the highlight and contour palette. I feel like if you don't own a whole lot of highlighters, this is a really fun palette to play around with. That said, do keep in mind the highlighters are definitely on the glittery side. This is not for someone that wants a subtle glow on their cheeks. This is for someone that wants a visible highlighter on the tops of their cheekbones, like seen from outer space. That's not going to look natural because it is glittery. That said, it's very soft, it's buttery, it applies really pigmented. So kind of just depending on your preference, I would say you may be interested in this, you may not. I really like this contour shade right here. It's not too pigmented. You can build it up as much as you want or you can leave it to be very subtle. As far as the blushes go, I think these shades are absolutely beautiful. I definitely think there's a lot of wearable shades in here. That said, these are on the more pigmented side, so we have to be careful with blushes like this so you don't end up applying way too much and ruining your makeup look, which is easy to do with blushes that are too pigmented. But I think this is a really nice array of colors. If you don't own a whole lot of blushes, I think this is a really affordable way to build up your blush collection. One other thing though that I want to mention about this packaging and this packaging is that it does feel very cheap. This right here is just kind of plastic. This feels like a paper box and it's not sturdy at all. So I don't know that I would travel with these and trust that they would stay intact. But the standout product for me was this eyeshadow palette. This palette really impressed me. I don't think the shades perform like high-end eyeshadows, but I think you could create so many different looks for such an affordable price with this palette. And if you apply the shimmers on top of a primer with your finger, I think you'll be really impressed by the quality. And the matte shades are awesome. The matte shades really, really surprised surprised me. If you can get past the fallout, the pigment is there, the shade selection is there, and the brush that it comes with isn't great, but it isn't half bad. It's definitely usable. And the packaging on this is much harder. It feels a lot more sturdy, so definite points for that. So this, out of everything, is definitely the thing I would recommend the most. As far as the lip products go, I am not loving the way that my lips look right now. I think this really just highlighted dry patches, but I do want to try just the lip liner and the matte liquid lipstick by themselves because I really like the color. They applied nicely. I don't have anything bad to say about these, but I do think the metallic kind of ruined the lip look and just made it look patchy and dry. So those are my thoughts on all the products that I tried today. If you want me to try more from this brand, definitely let me know and let me know what you've tried and what's your favorite. I feel like I'm going to be picking up more eyeshadows from them because that was the standout product for me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Definitely go check out the vlog channel if you're interested and I will see you guys in my next video.